everyone welcome back we're back for another video yesterday we did a video we did a repeat uh, the uh, video about uh, changing the size of the box um, we mentioned this uh, shipping and uh, how we want to save on shipping by reducing the size of the box as well as uh, increasing the strength of the box by basically having half of the box going on the outside of the other half and increases the strength all around which ensures your product to get the other side of the customer's door safely and in great condition now another challenge that people have sometimes is they have a product that's bigger than the actual box doesn't fit in the box goes slightly above or a whole bunch of uh, space uh, a whole bunch of um, uh, space above the box so people wonder how could i do this how could i get my product to fit in this box unfortunately it cannot fit in the box but there's another solution around it and the solution is to increase the size of the box basically to increase it upwards okay and if of course if you want uh, if you want to uh, uh, ship a, a product sideways you can also go sideways with it okay depending how you want to ship the product but we're going to assume that you're increasing it upwards okay that you have a product that's tall and you, it goes beyond the box and you want to have another way to make that box work uh, as i said that box will not be able to do everything but we can increase the box using another box okay so we're gonna on this video gonna talk about how to increase the size of a box in order to avoid you sending a product out there that's all poorly wrapped up this still looks very professional nice and uh, it basically allows you to expand the size of one box so we're gonna yesterday we, in the other video we mentioned reducing the size of a box as 12 by 12 by 12 Today, we're going to increase the size of a box as 12 by 12 by 12, okay? And we're going to use two boxes. Before we start, you should know that when you do this, you, the boxes have to be of the same size, the same uh, sort of width or slight, or the one outside or on the outside should, can, go, can be slightly bigger than the one inside, but not much, okay? So we'll, start, we'll assume that the, the boxes you have are both of the same size. So first of all, let's assemble the, ass assemble the box that you're gonna be using to ship your product. Okay, so we're gonna assemble it as we usually do. As I previously mentioned, there's a, uh, a box uh, stamp and you leave that box, the stamp uh, exposed. When shipping, you should always do that. So I'm gonna tape a box. So here's our box. So now let's assume, as I said, I suggest that you have a product that goes beyond this size. Let's say this is 12 inches high, that your product, let's say, is 14 or 15 inches high. You obviously don't want to tape the box like this and have a fully open top or have some poor design over the top, okay? That doesn't look the greatest. It can still accomplish your, your, your purpose of getting your product across, but I guess the other side, people are going to look at you and think, my God, these people don't want to spend any money on the packaging. So here's the solution. We take another box. Same idea. Again, the stamp is there, so I'll leave the stamp exposed. We're going to tape it up like so. There we go. Now we have two boxes of the same size. So the way you do it, you first uh, crush, uh, crush the, the inner one a little bit. You load your product. You take this box with the flaps on the outside, okay? The flaps of the box on the outside has to be on the outside, okay? As I suggested, they have to be of the same size. So watch this, like that. Do -do -do. A little more. Watch this. I should be a little more. We gotta squish the, crush the corners a little bit. But there you go. So you see? Nice box. You have just expanded your box by at least six inches. If you want to make it even smaller, you can always even shave the box, the outside box, okay? So it goes even smaller downwards. And then all we have to do is tape it all around. So you just increase your box. If you want bigger, you can, again, you can expand it. You can, instead of going all the way down, you can just go down maybe a few inches and the box is actually, will actually be bigger. I just brought it down all the way to see how neat it would look if it goes nicely all the way inside of each other. So when this gets to somebody's door, it's really nice. As I mentioned, you're packaging a product that's vertically, 
But if you add something horizontally, you can do the same thing. You lay the, the product across and you just bring the box in like that. Important is to make sure that whoever carries the box that you say mark it with some arrows saying this side up, this side up. So the shipper knows to carry it this way, right? Otherwise, it'll be just like that. So that's how you increase the box. That's how you expand the box. When you need more space, that's how you do it. As mentioned before, make sure the boxes are of the same size or that the outside box can be slightly larger, but not much. Because if you make it much larger, then you're going to have to tape the heck out of it in order to squish it in to be safe. Something like this, is, it feels like it's a single box. So I think that's it. If you have any questions or suggestions, let us know. Uh, post your comments below. Uh, don't forget to like this video. As we mentioned in the other video, uh, small businesses that ship, uh, that do online businesses and do a lot of shipping, something like this is essential for you. And it's great when, uh, if you, uh, when you hit the like button, this gets pushed out, pushed out, through the, out through YouTube and other people get a chance to see it. Other business will get a chance to see us and see these videos. And we hope to help as many people as we can. Uh, we found YouTube a phenomenal source, uh, like a fountain of wisdom for everybody out there. Not every video is the greatest video out there, but uh, there's a lot of help being offered through YouTube, which is phenomenal. And we are one of those. We, are, we aim to help as many people as we can, as many small businesses as we can, with only essential stuff that people need to know, okay? So as mentioned, post any questions, any comments below. Like the video and subscribe, okay? We look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you for seeing us again. Ciao.